Hello. Hello. Oh, oh no. Hello. How's everyone doing today? What kind of boba? Just regular milk tea. As a treat. How's it going? I don't know about y'all, but I have work to do, so I'm just going to be working on today's stream. <laughs> and you're welcome to join me. Yeah, sometimes you find one place that you usually order from that has boba, and you just gotta, because it's Thursday. And you're stressed. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's enjoying the newest episode. Yes, Cam, you should write Shmando fanfic for your creative writing assignment, but you have to show it to me. Anyway, um, <laughs> so uh, for those of you who are familiar with our Patreon, you may know that once a month we do a draw class and I am doing tomorrow's draw class and I will be doing some animation crash course basics and character animation. And um, for that, I wanted to prepare a lot of, uh, well, maybe not a lot, I'm not, that, I'm not that energetic, but I wanted to prepare some examples and I wanted to have at least one complicated example but then I remembered that animation takes a long time so I'm still I'm still working on it um but I'm just gonna work on it here and you can watch and hang out with me and we can work together oh someone's rating thank you but yeah so I'm just animating. I'm just doing some sh some stuff. Um, there is a sound clip that I'm animating this too, but I need to listen to it, so y'all don't get to listen to it. <laughs> um, the program I'm using is TV Paint, specifically TV Paint 10, which is an older version of it. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's Nando. It's Nando, but he's bald and naked because everything's hard. So how's everyone doing today? Who's Nando's voice actor? My good bud, uh, Siggy VA, who I think is streaming right now, so. <laughs> I just stole one of his clips from his videos. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I'm going to finish this for tomorrow. We'll see. But it's worth. I figured it was worth a shot. <laughs> Thank you guys. Hello, hello. Teach teach you the ways of animation. Well, <laughs> if you are uh, believed to learn tier and above, I will do just that tomorrow. That's not good. But in the meantime, I'm just working on some stuff. <laughs> uh. 
Let me just get this mouth in real quick. Uh, and then I can be a little less attentive. And... Are you still releasing the Draw Class Patreon streams one month after? Yep. Um, Julia's Draw Class from last month should be up um, Saturday, I think, is when that's happening. <laughs> I was going to stream Neopets today, but then I was like, actually... <laughs> I'm really behind on what I wanted to get done, so um, didn't have a lot of choice with that. Although I haven't actually logged in today, so if you guys want, we can do my dailies together. <laughs> we'll take a we'll take a Neopets break in a sec, and <laughs> I just I just need to do this lip sync really quick. because it needs to be a little less centered. <laughs> uh, let me... If you guys want, I can show you what I have done so far, minus the sound. I'm not turning the sound on. I'm still fixing all the timing. It looks kind of weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah doing some doing some character animation it's been a while what am i animating this for i would like for it to have been for tomorrow's stream but i'm not really sure anymore i wanted to do a complicated character aka a good excuse to animate my boy nando but um just to show off some principles and action but it's really hard <laughs> Um, but for the moment, I, I've kind of been working most of today so far, so we should, we should have a quick, a quick little fun day. <laughs> I'm always on the hustle for an excuse to draw Nando. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but foist... You know what? Whatever. <laughs> so, um, ah, his face. I can't, I can't. Yeah, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but Derek's looking kind of different, so I think that's cool. <laughs> Have I been working the Neopets economy again? Does it look like it? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if anyone can tell, but 
I got a little extra sidebar here at the bottom, so I'll leave that up to you to find out what that means. Let's check let's check out my stocks. Um <laughs> My stocks fucking suck. <laughs> Can we check out Yes Boy Ice Cream? I don't think they're playing today. <laughs> uh, do I do Food Club? No, I don't. I don't know what Food Club is. I just I I run my store. I flip items. Um, I'm just trying to save up for a royal paintbrush right now. Not what I meant to click. <laughs> um, and the most important thing, well, not the most important thing, but I do like to check this and I like to zap my pet with a beam. Um, this is my current lineup of pets, by the way, except this is one where they're all sad. I kind of 4D chest my way into making Derek Kale a wraith colored loop um, that did involve American US dollars. And um, I also repainted Scoot McCool because I, I got tired of what he looked like. And I thought these two, like the two dogs look really cute in these specific colors with these backgrounds. I. I think it's nice. Um, I got rid of Alyssa Rin, the gay walkie. Not because I didn't like her. I just didn't have strong feelings towards her. And um, actually, I, I abandoned her. And within a couple hours, uh, she was uh, adopted and already living a better life, I think. Oh, cool. Is Flash not working? I love that. <laughs> oh my god, Neopets. But yeah, she's doing fine. I got rid of her. Last time I checked, she was wearing clothes, but whatever. Um... How am I doing with the charity corner drama? I, I haven't been paying that close attention. Um, I just noticed it was really glitchy, so I stopped <laughs> really using it. Um, and so I got rid of her, but I did adopt this uh, P.O. Finn, whose name is Aoi Zizen. And I adopted her only because she has the name of a Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains character. And then my Labray pet, who used to be a Peofin, is now an Ogryn, which I hate. So um, I'm just going to zap him and see what happens. Did I win the art contest? No. <laughs> okay. Well, Balthazar is a girl again now, so that's great. But she's still my least favorite kind of Neopet. Why is Derek so happy? Oh, it's because he's sick. When did he get sick? <laughs> it wasn't like this before. <laughs> um, I don't want to deal with this. I don't even care. <laughs> when did you get sick? I haven't logged in since last night. You're so irresponsible, Derek. Are you better now? Okay, good. Can't leave you alone for a second. I haven't even touched Neopets today. Get sick. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing real quick, and then we can get back to work. <laughs> I thought he was smiling. His sick portrait looks so cute. <laughs> Oh, great. Okay. I zapped my pet pet, and now it's just known as OMGROFL. Thank you. I much prefer his name to be Sasuke, like the rest of my pets. <laughs> um, 
Okay, that's kind of all we need to do on Neopets. I swear I don't know why Derek was sick. He he hasn't gotten sick. Okay, he got sick like once since the last stream, but I haven't done anything in here since yesterday, so really odd. See, Neopets is loading very slowly as usual. What else do I need to do today? Did I have this running last night? God. Okay, that's enough of that. I don't feel like dealing with it. It's back to work. Do I have a Neo home? I think I do. I haven't touched it. <laughs> no, don't move that, please. I guess I should work on your shoulders now. This, the head looks okay. Yeah. It's my layer name. How much does this program cost? I forget. Um, I think I got it for around three hundred, or rather. My parents got it for me as a Christmas gift. And that was also possibly with a student discount. But that's about how much animation software tends to run anyway. Full programs are expensive, but um, at least it's not a monthly subscription. <laughs> What god did I sell my soul to for those animation skills? <laughs> School of Visual Arts at SVA. New York took all my money. Um, okay. I should like actually draw what your body looks like instead of just drawing a weird, a really weird shape. I don't think I'm going to have you doing anything with your hands at all. Turn this on. <laughs> you know the fancier version of Clip Studio Paint has animation features, but I've never tried it. Yeah. I mean, Photoshop has animation features. Procreate has animation features too, but I've also never tried those. Have I played around with the new update? Nee, not yet. Um, I've been busy. So. Not a lot of hecking around this week, unfortunately. I say that while I'm doing something completely unnecessary for work, but I, I really wanted... Oh, not, not this to incorporate it anyway, so. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Have I tried drawing on an iPad? Almost, I almost exclusively draw on an iPad. Except when I'm doing draw fee or streaming. The 
procreate one is just bare minimal, even replacing layers with frames. Yeah, I, I've been wanting to just try goofing around in procreate, but I haven't yet. <laughs> I have to have like a lot of free time for me to really get into doing animation just for the fun of it. So I wish, but <laughs> right now, no. Not you, you. Not you, go away. <laughs> um, to reiterate, this program is TV Paint, version 10. It's an older version. I bought it a while ago and I just... You know, you buy one license and you just write it for as long as humanly possible. For those who just got here, here's... It's like that, so... I just want it to look nice. Um... I really thought I could finish this faster, but in reality, I've only been working on this since like last night. <laughs> so, um, eh. would I be open to a moon pot OVA? Absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, do I have any more Yu-Gi-Oh videos planned for my Poisonal channel? I don't know. I was just doing that for fun. I, I had one more plan, but I haven't gotten the chance to do it, so who knows. But I'm glad everyone likes Moon Paw. I also like to moon paw. <laughs> I should probably also. Yeah. Please show me the thing I want to see. Thank you. <laughs> I have at least three other Moonpaw comics that I have the scans of, so. But. Um, my parents scanned the full book that they found for me, and, uh, like I, I mentioned briefly in the episode that it has activity pages, and in one of them, it's just a drawing of Moonpaw, and <laughs> the instructions are, now you draw what Moonpaw says, and in the scans, you can clearly see where my brother had written yuck 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 in the word bubble above moon paw and i had tried to angrily erase it because he wasn't taking me seriously and it pissed me off but i i just didn't erase it fully so it's still there <laughs> and it made me laugh <laughs> when you're like eight and your brother fucking dunks on you Let us 
Do you have any other comics or characters you remember from when you were younger? So um, there was this other comic. It was a full binder of comics that my parents found. And I did this when I was in middle school. And it's it's really just, um, how old was I when I was 11? Or what year was it? 2004. Um, 2004, 2005. Like, it was that era. <laughs> Um, I had this comic called The Fluffy Chronicles, which were, oh wow, gone awry, gifted subs. Sorry I'm not calling out subs. It's become too difficult, but thank you. Um, but uh, I had this entire comic series called The Fluffy Chronicles, and it starred all these characters that were like intentional ripoffs of uh, Kiro from Card Captors. Um, <laughs> and it was it was just the epitome of 2004, 2005 lol random humor. So and I knew where that was. That was on my bookshelf. So I was like, don't get that one when you're looking for your old art. Don't don't send me that one. I, I already have some scans from it. Um, but it was weird. It was just a lot of like really weird inside jokes with my friends at the time. It was, it was just a lot and it was weird, but my parents unearthed it anyway. And my dad started reading it and he thinks it's so funny. And he was the, the past couple weeks, cause I call them every week. He was like, you should, redraw this one and publish it because it's funny <laughs> and I was like dad it's not funny you just didn't use the internet in 2004 and 2005 and you weren't you know tainted by this type of humor like none of these jokes are funny they're just random shit my friends and I would say or they're jokes I stole from the internet because I was 11, <laughs> and, um, but he thought it was really funny. He's like, this is like pop team epic. You should redo this. This is so funny. My dad really likes pop team epic. And, <laughs> um, and I was like, I, am, I will not do that. But my dad's like, maybe I'll do it instead. And I was like, you're more than welcome, but I would prefer if you didn't. <laughs> but according to my brother, who uh, goes by their house every weekend, that binder has been sitting out in the living room rather than hidden away on the bookshelf in my old room for going on three weeks now. So that's horrifying. <laughs> But yeah, that one you'll never see. We'll never see the light of day just because it, it, it's cringe. I posted cringe or rather I didn't. I put it all in a binder and put it on my bookshelf where I would like for it to stay. So uh, <laughs> that one's not going anywhere, I hope, because <laughs> it's embarrassing. Moonpaw is pure and wholesome. The Fluffy Chronicles was like, I how how do you put? This is the era in which very funny. I I said one thing wrong, and now everyone's gonna make a big deal out of it. What else is new? Um, but 
This was when I was lurking on Live Journal and stealing people's icons because I didn't know how to make my own and shit like that. It was just, it was, I was 11 or 12. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Sir Plix a lot. I don't forgive you. Gotta stream my work crunch to an audience. Got a lot of shit to do allow me to have a slip of the tongue please <laughs> not a stupid question it's it's uh again this is tv paint 10 i think tv paints up to version 11 by now so i really like this program for anyone who's um more uh, interested in like deep interest in animation it is expensive but if if you plan on doing it for a long time it's good i like this one <laughs> is the mouse over text in this program educational it just tells you what everything does <laughs> Uh, I will say about TV Paint that it has a lot of hotkeys and features um, to the point that it gets really overwhelming. Um, like there's a hotkey for everything. Like here, I, I can flip. That's one key. That is the bracket key. <laughs> you would never guess that. Most of the hotkeys I know in TV Paint are because I accidentally hit them <laughs> once and um, I had to learn what they were in order to fix my mistake. There was one time I was doing studio work and I accidentally hid my control bar, like this whole area. And um, uh, it took me 30 minutes <laughs> to figure out how to put it back. <laughs> If you weren't doing Drawfee, would you be doing animation? I don't know what I'd be doing. <laughs> I just do whatever comes at me. I was doing animation before Drawfee, but as a freelancer. And um, I will say that at least in New York, it can be difficult to be a freelance 2D animator. So I did work regularly with a studio, but projects just didn't come in that often sometimes what am I doing where does your arm pop out why are you so big <laughs> how am I how was my day it's okay 
I'm just trying to get this stuff done. I'll feel bad if I've sunk a lot of time into it and don't have it kind of done by tomorrow. Oh, God, why are you popping in and out? God damn it. I'm too ambitious. Why am I too ambitious? So I've mostly just been working today. I ordered poke. Got a little boba. <laughs> I'll finish that later. I don't care. Actually, I care a little bit. <laughs> That's my favorite shape of dinosaur chicky nuggy. This one. Karina, I have a question. Have done a fully rendered animation on TV paint. I'm assuming you meant to put have you. Um, yes, several, um, kind of. I, I did my whole thesis in TV paint. Uh, I, I wouldn't, I don't know. I didn't clean it up a lot because <laughs> I, was, I, I was out of time. And there was one... A project that I've worked on that like for a studio that uh, I didn't uh, let me leave it at that yes I, I've done animated stuff on TV paint for a studio um, which obviously isn't fully done in TV paint because like compositing is all done in different programs but that one I did did I shade that one? Was I in charge of that? I did the color on it at least. <laughs> the animation and the color in full, so. <laughs> um, what voice actors do I have in mind? Fernando and Schmidt? Well, there is an excellent dub by my good pal Segi that already exists of um, most of the Schmando comics uh, where he does Nando and there's a different guy who does Schmidt. I forget his name, uh, but he, if you look up those videos, he's credited in there and I think they're pretty perfect, so... <laughs> Is there anything I hate trying to animate? Most things. <laughs> what of it? <laughs> Name one thing I like to animate. That's the real question. Um... 
how do you do the little draw feet intro animations? Well, usually Jacob does them, but I can show you essentially how to do them. Because, uh, whatever. I would do the same thing essentially. Do I want to heck up my brush? Let's heck up the brush. Uh, so let's say... Mm. Who's the easiest to draw? Everyone's hard to draw. Well, dee dee dee. So say this. All you do is go back over carefully. And I think Jacob does uh, just two frames for the jitter. Why did I do it like this? I'm so stupid. I love making things complicated for myself. Um, and whenever I would do the jitter and draw feet animated, I would do three because I'm <laughs> just so irritating. Um, I'm not doing a good job with this at all. But you just go back carefully over it as close as you can. It will have slight differences on its own naturally because you didn't do it quite the same. But as long as it's close and not just popping in and out out of weird places. Nope. Then... Mine's just real wonky because, <laughs> but yeah, and that's how you just get it to jitter like that. If you want like a really clean loop, I suggest three frames just because it'll kind of uh, bridge. Let me, let me just uh, boop, boop. Actually, yeah, well, I've already dedicated. But yeah, it, it's just tracing it back. So you just do one drawing three times and trace over it. And then boom, it'll jitter. silly that I've chosen this to be my specialty. <laughs> so that's kind of the gist of it I know Jacob does it one a lot cleaner than I do he's a lot more precise about it and two he just does it in Photoshop so man yeah, that's how you do the jitter you just trace back over no I don't want I don't want
I'm so curious you don't use onion skins for this part. Is that because you already have your rough sketches in blue to guide behind you? I, I'm using onion skin <laughs> uh, right here. That's why it looks such a mess. Very boldly doing a lot of straight ahead on this boy because I've, I've given up. <laughs> what am I doing? Why? Was it? Mm. Am I staying hydrated? I'm drinking boba. <laughs> you want to hear a fun story? So um, I have that little cat character that I have mentioned many times before. This a little guy. That's what he looks like every time. Um, he's kind of like my mascot. And I made all of my art, or like not all of my art, but I made a lot of pieces about him in high school. And um, and he's just like a character that I, I drew a lot. And I made an animation about him in high school. And um, he didn't have a name at that point. And I was teaching my friend how to use Flash because I already knew how to use it. Um, back then and she kept getting really confused and asking about the onion and I kept thinking she was talking about my character so that's where he got his name from he's named after the onion skin tool Just do this one, actually. Yeah. For, for the uninitiated, in this program, it's called the light table, but the onion skin lets you see the frames before and after so that you can, like, you know, be able to draw in between them and such. Why is it called that? I don't know. Because onion skins are transparent. <laughs> it makes more sense for it to be called a light table, but onions, onion skin works too. Sure. Yeah, because you see like here, I can see both the previous frame and the next frame, so I can just do the in-between. Oh cool, they're in the same place. I hate that. Why are they in the same place? Weird. 
Is it a little weird to have the internet people excited about your childhood OC Moonpaw? No, they should be excited. Moonpaw is good and wholesome. He's finally getting the attention he deserves. Good for him. How do you not burn your eyes out while staring at white canvases all day? to do more animation practice. Measure your animations in frames per second. Do you have a specific amount of fluidness in mind for an animation? Uh, um, I feel like this is worded really weirdly, and I don't have a good answer for it either way, but um, no, I, I don't think things out that far ahead. Maybe that's what makes it so difficult for me, but... Um, I tend to just, here, I, I, this is some exclusive content, but I, I can show the full progress of this because, like I said, I was making this for a thingy, for a draw class. So I usually do one pass that is just, what you calls it, like, like planning out what it's supposed to look like. So that was like pass one, and then based on that, I'll do a, a couple of passes. Um, I don't want to show that, but I do want to show this. So this one is more a guide for the shapes. Um, with a little bit more timing on it. So now I'm on pass two. And... This will probably be the last like pass, rough pass I do before I start actually going in and refining properly. But yeah. Um, there's a lot smarter ways to plan your animation um i remember back in the day we had to use exposure sheets <laughs> which i know a lot of people still use because you know what that can be quite useful sometimes but for something like this that i'm just kind of doing really off the cuff it's i'll, I'll start with something because with i with pass one i just kind of eyeballed it to make sure that the timing like looked about what i meant for it to look 
and then tweak it from there with every time I refine it. So each pass, it gets a little bit better, but uh, but yeah. Okay, you go away again. Is it going to be dubbed? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I mentioned before, there's a sound clip to it, but I'm listening to it and I only have one audio output. So you know what? Uh, <laughs> sorry, you don't get to hear it right now. Um, it, it does have a voice clip that I stole from Sagi. So <laughs> uh, if I do ever finish this, I'll just post it on Twitter. So don't worry too hard about it. Plus, it would be really hard to listen to I'm sure if you could hear me scrubbing through the voice clip constantly so um yeah sorry about that little bird lady I'm sorry about the drinking noises and eating noises I'm done now um What iPad do I have? Uh, 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 it's the iPad Pro. I got in 2017. Eh. Would I do a Procreate stream? I'd like to, but I don't know how to. Are there specific job titles for someone who would do the basic animation and someone else who cleans and colors it? Yeah. Every step uh, kind of is its own thing. I haven't worked a lot like in the animation industry. The studio I worked for was pretty small, so we all would tend to do multiple things. Uh, uh, so typically, if I were animating a scene, I would usually end up being the one coloring it. But yeah. How do I have so much patience for drawing? 
because I like doing it. I say I hate it, but I actually like it. up. Oops. How do you stay consistent in animating? I have to make a lot of uh, consistency guides for myself. You don't, you, you haven't seen any yet, but for the face, for the head shape, for example, I usually just uh, copy and paste the very first one I draw over and over again and use that as a guide for the correct shape of the head just so the size doesn't change too much throughout the entire thing. What shows have I animated on? Uh, no shows. I haven't done any shows. I've done two pilots for, um, that were, like, released through Nickelodeon. Uh, or I was, like, on staff for them. And I've done a really long PSA back in 2016. And I've done a background ad for the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. It's just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. What else have I done? I think that's it. Yeah. How am I doing today? All right. Just... Uh, do I remember what the pilots are called? They're all on YouTube. So one was called Burger Bros. And one was called The Adventure of... The Ballad of Bee and Cad. So feel free to look them up. Real question, why are the majority of kid cartoons so lazy now? What does that even mean? Uh, did you hear that Spencer Wan started a studio? Of course I did. I love Spencer.
I mean, not to discourse a little bit, but saying that kids shows nowadays are lazy is a pretty uh, presumptuous generalization. I, uh, to clarify, I don't know why you would say that. That's my response. They're not all winners, but you know, you don't you don't have to undermine the people who work on those shows for any reason, even if you don't think they're good. turn you like this what, the, the, what is this what is this ew Sorry if this is a dumb question, but how do you learn how mouths are supposed to look when talking? Um, it's, it's simpler than it seems. There's really only about, um, you, you can generalize it down to like seven mouth shapes. Uh, <laughs> I forget. Do I, I wonder if I can find a good, uh, reference sheet because I'm not going to make one on the spot. Lip sync mouth reference. I wish I could find my favorite one starring Frank, but uh, ooh, who's this? Okay, here we go. Can, can we see this? Um, yeah. You just need to like kind of go through your uh, like the audio track that you're listening to and kind of dictate like here's what mouth shapes go here. So, for example, if you're doing a simpler animation, you can literally just make seven or eight or nine mouths and plug them in. <laughs> um but yeah, so usually when I do mouths, it's just kind of on twos and threes, and it's just kind of snapping between the shapes with maybe a little bit of tweening if I feel like that helps. But no, it's, it's, I, I personally find that lip sync is, or like, you know, at least laying the mouths out is pretty easy. You just have to kind of scrub through the audio and hear like, so, for example, in this one, where is, so this clip is saying, you thought my full legal name was Jess Nando. So, so this is. Full legal name is just 
that. Yeah. So grit teeth for N. A. Just. Nan. Do. <laughs> it's harder to do without scrubbing through the audience or the audio, but eh, I don't want to fix my audio outputs. So we're not doing it, but yeah, it's not that hard. <laughs> you just need to listen to like if it's making the mm sound, you just make sure the mouth is closed. Stuff like that. People talk so fast sometimes that it just doesn't really matter <laughs> that you're dictating every single sound that they make as long as it looks like the sound is leaving their mouth. So, if that makes sense. What am I doing? You know what? No, starting over. What are you making the animation for? Uh, I wanted to have an example for draw class, but also just because I wanna. Quiet frustration stream because I've given up. <laughs> do you so you do the 29 body face shapes and do you go back and add the detail yes there's a reason I haven't done the hair it's because the hair is going to move secondary to the head so I need to know exactly how the head moves before I can put the hair in um <laughs> Can you show us your hand tattoo? I don't have a hand tattoo. I do have a tattoo and I've tried many times to show it on stream, but it's just it's it's at a weird angle. It can't it's hard to see. Darn, we discoursing in the chat? Stop it. Okay, I think that'll do. How do you know how much movement to draw in between frames? Um, how, how to explain? So use like your keyframes and maybe a couple breakdowns to time everything out. Um, 
and then you just kind of eyeball it. That's how I do it. <laughs> um, so I can't really show you now using this one because I've already been tweaking it as I go. But for this one, I just adjusted the timing with every pass and added more in-betweens where they felt necessary to make it look smoother. Yeah, I feel like some of my animator friends would, would watch and be like, damn bitch, you live like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Okay, okay, I feel better about that. Down. Yes, thank you mods, by the way, for being good and my favorites. <laughs> Uh, did I go to art school for animation? Yes. I got a whole ass degree in it. <laughs> um. Actually. <laughs> no, yes. When did the stream start? It started um, about an hour and 20 minutes ago. I will be going for about another 40 minutes. And then I will stop and resume doing the exact same thing I'm already doing, but in complete silence. <laughs> Then, hmm. now I'll be listening to music. I'm not listening to music right now, unfortunately, so that's not helping. But once, once I am reaching animation zen mode, I'm going to put on some dragon force and dissociate while... <laughs> drawing in all the details on this I guess <laughs> okay, 
you are going up too high. Why are the mouths blue? Because they're mostly just there for reference. Okay. <laughs> I can just shave a bit off here. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here with that shit. <laughs> Coffee shop at you? We writing something? <laughs> what you up to? <laughs> um, what do I think the most important skill for an animator? What is the most important skill for an animator to have? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Patience. Um, and a good understanding of acting. <laughs> What are y'all to Cam, what are you writing? I want to know. I'm nosy. <laughs> Just trimming down these big ass shoulders. <laughs> no, I want to know. Did I have to take acting lessons in college? Hell yeah, I did. It was awful. <laughs> the only good thing about acting class in college is that all animation majors were forced to take it, and it was really just a room full of unwilling introverts. <laughs> so it had its moments, but... The acting class that was offered by my school wasn't that good anyway, so it 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 uh, was a waste of my time. But Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, no, no shade to people who actually enjoy acting. I obviously don't. Because here's the thing. Acting is an important part of animation. That is a fact. This is acting. All of this shoulder shit is acting. And that's important. But the, um, the class that I had to take in college for the animation major, required class, had a stage acting te- teacher teaching the class. And um, yeah, it was just a lot of stuff that wasn't important for us to know. There was one day where they brought in like a guy who was a professional clown. And that was actually a really good class because it was a lot about the physicality of, of, you know, exaggerating your movements and shit, which is kind of what acting is, or, you know, animation and the acting and animation is about. But every other class other than that, it was like, who wants to do an improv? And everyone was like, no. <laughs> and our, our uh, final for that class was a three-minute monologue, which is completely irrelevant. I don't need to know how to do a three-minute monologue in order to animate a character. <laughs> Uh Y'all is so funny because I said a professional clown. You know that exists and is a real thing, right? But yeah, so that class was kind of a hot mess, but it was required. (laughs) It it just would have been a lot more, um, whatchamacallit, useful if it focused a lot more on physical action than, you know, rehearsing a monologue or doing an improv like speaking because that's not important was it a real clown or just someone in a clown costume it was a real clown he wasn't in costume (laughs) He was just a person who is really good at acting with his body. Okay. I feel like... Should there be... <laughs> I just got here, so curious about what this animation is for. I guess technically nothing. I wanted to have it for tomorrow's draw class, but it's taking a lot longer than I foolishly thought it would, so I don't know about that. (laughs) I still have to do other things for tomorrow, but here I am. When you scrub frames in TV, paint does the audio also scrub. Yes, which is part of why I have it turned off um, because I am constantly scrubbing through it. In fact, TV paint does this weird thing where um, sometimes it'll even pitch the audio up for no reason. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, it is a little annoying to listen to, which is why I chose not to have you guys listening to it. You're welcome. Here, this one. 
looks weird. Because I made this a horrible mess. <laughs> what I want. I wish I understood my own process. That would be so helpful. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here, it shouldn't pop out just yet. Just a little bit. It's important to me to perfect this shoulder roll, I'm sorry. <laughs> fixing. Gotta do this. That's why it looks so wonky. This is way too far out to the right. So, da, da, da. listening to Dragon Force right now. What I would give. Will any of the draw class streams be released later? Yes. Um, last week's draw class should, or last week, last month's draw class uh, should be up Saturday, I think, is when it's going up. Soon, because it's the end of the month. So tomorrow's draw class will be up 
within a month. Do I have a favorite Dragon Force song? Hmm. Hmm. Valley of the Damned. I hate this shoulder. Okay, because it's going dupe. Because it should pop right back in here. What was the last draw class? It was Julia teaching the how do you say, uh, how to draw uh, faces, like portraiture using the rune. Okay, I think that's what I mean for it to look like. If only I worked cleaner and we were good. Like it doesn't need this huge drop. <laughs> Do you find body or facial expressions or gestures easier to animate? Uh, I guess if I had to choose between the two, face expressions, um, hmm. I'm just gonna redo this whole fucking one. I've given up. Um, just because, uh, it depends. As you can see, I'm only animating this from about the shoulders up because otherwise I'd be too lazy and it wouldn't get finished. It's hard. One thing I will not be covering tomorrow is a walk cycle. I can't deal with that right now emotionally. <laughs> um, yeah, I think one of the there's two things that are like the hardest things I've ever had to animate, <laughs> in my opinion. One of them is a shot from my thesis film, which is just the two characters going up some stairs. That was so hard. <laughs> it was so hard. It was two characters and they're walking upstairs. I didn't know how that worked. <laughs> My brain is like off right now. What did I just do? Okay, I'm gonna redo this completely. Um, and then the second one was from one of the aforementioned Nickelodeon pilots uh, where, and this was the first shot that I was asked to animate when I got pulled onto that project. It was four characters who are these lizards wearing armor and um, they are running into the shot and we're looking up. It's like a weird perspective. So they have a lot of props. And they're like running. And there's four of them. And they're like a really weird shape. So <laughs> I think that shot like to just animate and clean it took a week. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, they weren't super complicated, but they just like had a lot of stuff dangling around. What am I doing? Okay. Um, but yeah, it, it's stuff like that. Anything that's just like, does it involve appendages? I don't want it. <laughs> Shoulders only. 
The acting is located in the shoulders. <laughs> um, one of my films I made uh, in school featured almost entirely run and walk cycles. And that was a nightmare. So the following year, we had a lot shorter time to finish our, you know, film for the year. And so I did one that had zero walk cycles. It was a guy in bed. And then there were some like other characters who you either never see them full body or they're just floating there or standing there. <laughs> I can't even see. That looks kind of better. Okay. I did it. <laughs> it only took an hour and 45 minutes, but I got the shoulders the way I want them to. Will you ever cover walk cycles when you're emotionally prepared? No, I'm not suited to teach that. <laughs> um, for tomorrow's draw class, I am pulling a lot of it from every anim animation student's favorite book, Animator Survival Guide by Richard Williams. And I was curious, I was like, should I should I touch the walk cycle? So I flipped through and, you know, this is such a staple because he teaches walk cycles so well. There is at least a hundred pages in this book that is solely dedicated to the walk cycle. I'm not doing it. I can't teach that. I'm not a teacher. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to if you want to learn like character animation, like 2D character animation, this is the book. <laughs> um it has a lot of good reference. It's an easy read. Every animation class I've ever taken has has basically just put his lecture series on in the background. <laughs> the book is a uh, what the animation, the animator's survival kit. Everyone knows it. <laughs> this is like the staple of animation uh, basics. And it is good. It's weird at times, but it's good. <laughs> I got I got this copy for free as part of my education thanks i only spent thousands on it but um i haven't really touched it since graduating <laughs> so it has been nice to like crack it back open but my god there is so much to talk about so um the the draw class will be covering a very condensed animation crash course type thing. So if you're interested in that, you got a whole 20 hours <laughs> to um, get in on that Patreon. But it'll also be available publicly in about a month. Plus, I, I can't promise it'll be that great <laughs> because I'm teaching it. So... I don't really know what I'm doing now because this is my second pass. I did it. I finished my second pass. I can just mark all of this shit. Uh... Yeah, it's probably not hard to find a PDF of this book, but... <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Fluffferoni. I guess I can do the hair. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's make this hair as simple as possible for Daddy because she has low patience for everything today. Mm. No, nope. just big shape. Can deal with his little sticky outy bit later. Is this what his hair looks like? I think that's easy enough. Yeah, I can follow three whole points, maybe. Doesn't matter if I flip this, if, if I flip check this. <laughs> Who am I trying to impress <laughs> by checking that it looks symmetrical? <laughs> Do you have voice actor headcans for Schmidt's voice? As I mentioned before, there is a, a excellent dub of a lot of the Schmando comics done by my good pal Segi VA. Um, you can find them pretty easily on YouTube. Um, and the guy who's doing Schmidt's voice for that one, whose name I forget, but he's also very good. Spot on. His, his voice for Schmidt is it. <laughs> This is a shape. Oh god. Okay. I'm gonna do the thing that looks stupid so nobody say anything. This is okay. Hairline go up, but hair do not go up. Sorry if the commentary this week is awful. <laughs> this is what goes on in my head while I'm working on animation. This is normal. Okay, and now hair can go up. I love 
Jacob, uh, Jesus. Beast. Let's just reuse this because, because <laughs> I'm starting college on Monday and I'm so scared. Good luck, Bumblebeast19. How many frames per second do I do? Uh, right now I'm just using the default for TV paint, so it's on 24. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think too hard about what FPS I used for this. I was like, it's set to 24, so we're doing 24. Draw the animated might be on 24. <laughs> How do you select background colors for your pieces? Like how you selected bright yellow in your dragon's drawing? Is that the gym leader one? Um, it, it tends to just contrast whatever colors I'm using uh, in the drawing itself. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I don't have a rhyme or reason as to why I pick things. I think it's because typically, like, uh, I, I tend to shade with blue, and blue, purple kind of range. So, I think in that dragons one, I was doing like blue, purple. So yellow is a good contrast to that. <laughs> mm. 
I promise I know color theory. I just don't think. Like I placed this one really stupidly. Why? Okay, let's have up. down I, I'm not excited to see how this hair turned out I feel like I'm kind of just doing whatever because I was down up down Why did I give you hair? Why do I... Does that need any more settle? It's up, down. Uh, I'll add one more up, see how it is, and that'll probably be the stream, because it's five. Uh, it noisy. I'm tired. I want to listen to Dragon Force. <laughs> what was I doing? Up, down, up. Did, nope, deep. Not you. Deep, deep. I feel like the hairs change shape. Whatever. <laughs> I'll adjust it later. Okay. Why do I have like threes and fours mixed into here? Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that looks okay. Um. I think I bounced it too much. <laughs> well, this is the first thing I've animated in months, so that that counts for something. <laughs> I think it needs less bounce. That's too much bounce for a slight movement like that there will be more bounce when he's shoulder acting whatever <laughs> um that's the stream i give up but tomorrow if you are um patreon believe to learn tier and above i'll leave it playing if you'd like um let me mute it so I can focus. <laughs> but yeah, if you are believed to learn tier and above on our Patreon, I will be teaching a real hell of a crash course in animation principles tomorrow so that we can think about character animation. Um, and otherwise, we stream every Monday at 7 p.m. New York Anarchy time. And we have a video that just went out today. If you haven't seen it, you should probably check it out because it's a it's a it's a sweet one. So um, otherwise, I'm just going to 
go back to working on this, but without the pressure of having to speak. But <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you had a nice time working alongside me. ASMR, I'm frustrated about the choices I've made in life. Goodbye. <laughs> And thank you, by the way, as usual, to everyone who subbed and stuff. Uh, we don't really read them a lot anymore, but it means a lot. Thank you for supporting our channel. We appreciate it a lot. Thank you. I love you. Goodbye.